Hi, I'm Juliana Colangelo. I'm here today at El Gato Pardo. We're lucky to have Peter Mandavi Jr. of Charles Krug Winery in the Napa Valley. Peter's going to talk to us a little bit about how to pour wine around the holidays. It's a stressful time of year. So we're lucky to have Peter here today from one of the most famous wine families in the world. He knows a thing or two about pouring wine for family around the holidays to make the holidays a little bit easier and less stressful and talk a little bit about some great wine support. So Peter, um, tell us a little bit about what your holidays like for you growing up in the Napa Valley. Well, growing up in Napa Valley, uh, we had a lot of family members there. Uh, my grandmother was there. Uh, we would have just these great festive events uh, with the family. Uh, typically at my grandmother's house, she had a, a grand dining room there. Um, and she was a phenomenal cook. She was born and raised in Italy, mm -hmm. and so taught in a very traditional way. Uh, hand rolled pastas, wow. uh, things like that. Uh, so we just had a feast uh, with, with classic Italian style. We have you know, the, the, uh, the, the multitude of courses, we have the pastas, and we have the meats. Uh, Every meal yeah. starts with pasta in an Italian uh, family, uh, right? Abs Thanksgiving, absolutely. Christmas, yeah, yeah, yeah my family too. Uh, that, <laughs> what was your favorite necessity. thing that your grandmother made for the holidays? Oh, there's this uh, many things. However, one thing was the uh, this, this uh, roasted chicken uh, that was done with, very simply: uh, olive oil, rosemary, some garlic. Uh, very simple, but it was just it was beautiful to have. That sounds like it would pair pretty nicely with uh, maybe some chardonnay. Yeah, and uh, obviously uh, wine was always part of our festivities there uh, during the holidays. Uh, but we like to keep it simple. You know, you don't have to fuss over it and. Fast with which wine, with which course. We only had a couple wines, mm -hmm. uh, typically white and red. We still do that today. Uh, as we move into the holiday season, uh, a little cooler uh, time of the year, uh, I start to move from Sauvignon Blanc to Chardonnay. Chardonnay tends to be a little bit richer, uh, a little more volume to it, and that's great. what we have here is our Carnero Napa Valley Chardonnay. This is 2017. Okay. Uh, so it's grown on our uh, <coughs> vineyards in the southernmost part of Napa Valley, that's okay. the Carneros region, very close to the San Francisco Bay, so it's a, a very cool region for Napa Valley, perfect for Chardonnay. So our Chardonnay is half fermented in uh, French oak barrels, mm -hmm. the other half is fermented in stainless steel tanks. Mm. What that does is the stainless steel retains the beautiful uh, fruit characteristics of the Chardonnay in that region. Uh, tropical fruit, pineapple, what I really sense there. And then uh, aging in the French oak, fermenting in the French oak gives you a little bit more viscosity, a little more intensity, richness mm -hmm. in the wine. But it's a beautiful balance. This is a wine, a white wine that would be good for our many different types of white wine drinkers. I think that's one of the hardest things around the holidays, right? It's pleasing everybody. But this seems like has that yeah. freshness that it could appeal to. Yeah, it has a fresh freshness, uh, some bright acidity. It's not the real heavy uh, kind of cloying Chardonnays that some people are, have, have experienced in California right. and have been turned off. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a little more austere uh, with a bright acidity and really pleases a broad spectrum of people because my experience when I'm doing winemaker dinners, a lot of people say, oh, I don't drink Chardonnay, I don't right. like Chardonnay, <laughs> and they, they enjoy this one because it, yeah, it's not beautiful. your typical kind of over the top uh, California style. I would drink this while I'm cooking too and getting ready for the big meal. Yes, absolutely. Yeah.